hi guys thank you so much for watching once again i'm doing this video because i want to talk about something that is really really important to me mental health so this video is about mental health mental health a disclaimer this video is pretty much about me my experiences with depression my techniques on my techniques of dealing with depression and my personal experiences and symptoms so um, it's not a general video or same symptom for all kind of video okay um, i want to talk about depression because where i'm from nigeria actually a lot of people believe that depression isn't a thing a lot of people believe that depression really is just you trying to get some attention for yourself a lot of people believe that depression is really not a black man illness a lot of people believe that you know what you cannot be depressed you can actually just snap out of it but i'm here to tell you that honestly depression is real it is no respecter of race color or gender it's a human illness it is very important also to just be mentally stable if you happen to be depressed you just basically need to understand that there's nothing wrong with the way you feel that you're feeling sad or empty or vague is all right there's nothing wrong with it you don't have to sit on your feelings and be mum about it i encourage you to seek support if you think you need support for me i personally um I've, when I started, when I when I found out that I was depressed, I started reading up and trying to understand how to deal with the situation because I didn't know how to manage it. There were days where it was totally, totally dark. There were days where it was really, where I was really struggling. There were days where I was really struggling to sort of just get off of my bed and just even find purpose with the day. So. It can get from one extreme to the other extreme. It can get from this level of bad to another extent of bad or horrible days. Anyways, um, when I found that I was depressed, I decided to do a lot of research about how to manage and deal with my depression. I would say for me, when I started getting really concerned about my mental health was when I realized that Things that I usually loved to do became a huge challenge. There was really no zeal or motivation or excitement to do those things. When it started affecting my work, my job was when I knew that, okay, Nancy, you need help. But how do I get the help I need? I didn't know who to talk to about it. At the time, I couldn't afford any professional help. So what I did was just read up and do a lot of research about how to manage my depression. So I found out that talk therapy could be very helpful and then I thought <laughs> talk therapy simply suggesting that okay you might just want to talk to somebody about how you feel for me I really wanted to talk about how I felt but I was sort of caught in the middle of talking about my feelings and then I really didn't even know what to say I didn't know if my feelings or the sadness I was feeling was even valid I had no idea if I was going to sound sane or insane. I had no idea how I was going to perceive because largely, most of the time, people usually come to me with, you know, issues or challenges and I'm just there to maybe listen or maybe just help with some easy solutions or suggestions as to how to deal with the concerns. So I didn't really know how, I didn't want to perceive it as weak, I think, right? And that sort of caused my depression to linger longer and then, Every little thing, every little thing could just get, um, every little thing could just make the the feeling explode. It could just make the way I feel get really bad. So I thought about talk therapy, and well, I wanted to try talk therapy out, but I didn't know how to. So what I decided to do was document, journal my experiences, pretty much journal my thoughts, document my thoughts. So I felt like, you know what, Nancy, I could just. I could just unburden my, my mind, I could unburden my soul 
And then I started writing my thoughts down. I started writing my feelings down on, on, on my notes pad. And I could tell you that when I started doing that, honestly, it felt like a, like a weight was taken off of me. In fact, I look forward to always writing my feelings down. And one thing I realized happened with that exercise was I could keep track of my progress rate. I could always go back to the drawing boards or to the notepad in, in quotes and just take a look at all of my, my progress from time past. And I, I will tell you that it has really, really been helpful. It has improved. But it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, there, there's still no days where I, I don't feel the bouts of sadness or, or, or emptiness or vagueness. It comes, but I can tell you that most of the times these days, I enjoy a lot of happiness. I'm not necessarily saying that it is coming from all of the thoughts and experiences and feelings I journaled down, but I can tell you that writing all of those sort of just cleared my mind. It sort of just helped make space. It helped sort of just, it felt like when I put those negative thoughts on paper, it would just open up space for a lot of positivity, or better still, just a lot of space instead of you know just having the negative thoughts just pull me down. So I I, I had that technique that really really helped me. And one other thing that actually helped me, I like to I like to really see that as my power tool. Those were my positive words of affirmation. I mean, you guys, I. I cannot, I cannot really underestimate the power of the positive affirmations, especially for me. I mean, when I first started, when I first started writing my experiences down, when I started journaling it, because there was so much, it felt like, okay, you know what? So there's so much space in my heart, in my mind, right? I felt, okay, I might as well just fill them up with positive affirmations. So basically, affirmations are more like conscious thoughts and ideas that you allow your mind to consciously build to be able to get a desired result or outcome, right? So I would sit and actually just picture my life, my mind, my overall health, and speak the words that I sort of project of myself, you know? So I would say something like, my name is Nancy, I am enough, I am beautiful, I am bold, I am innovative, I am creative, everything works together for me. So I would go on to declaring these positive words. At first I say my affirmations in front of my mirror at first. And honestly, it felt like I was just wasting my time. The impact wasn't felt immediately. But over time, I started feeling the impact. And then, you know, I, I would always look forward to those affirmations. I'll wake up in the morning and say my affirmations every morning. For me, it was, I wouldn't start my day without the positive affirmations. So I started my affirmations and they had a way of just uplifting my spirit and sort of filling me with positive energy and vibes. And I really enjoyed that. I think for me, it was the height of my, um, it was the height of my days really in those dark moments. So I started saying my, my positive affirmations and then I decided to, you know what, this stuff is really helping me. I wanted to share, I wanted to share my experience, I wanted to share my affirmations, and I thought to put them up on Instagram. So I did short videos of my affirmations on Instagram. I put I uploaded I uploaded them on Instagram. And then at first there were loads of positive reviews. And I felt, oh my God. So this stuff is actually helpful to somebody. This stuff is actually some form of, I don't know, some form of encouragement to somebody. I just felt really positive. I felt really uplifted. I felt like, you know what, I'm probably doing the right thing. Not because I needed validation from anybody, not because I needed validation from anything, but it just felt really good to, despite how you feel, help somebody. It really felt, it had, it had a huge positive impact on my overall um, mental health at the time. So um, two weeks into my videos, I, I, I went to work. You know, I was able to go to work after such a long time of turning down jobs and all of that. 
I felt like I was really in a good place mentally to go out, actually do stuff. And I took myself to work. And getting to work, a colleague of mine said to me, we were just actually like taking a break, we're having a break. And then he said to me, in his own words, I'm going to quote, he says to me, Nancy, what the fuck is all of that stuff you put up on Instagram? Look, we all go through depression, but you don't see me putting my shit online. And I'm like, what? And instantly, instantly, all I wanted to do was defend my actions. Instantly, all I wanted to do was explode. Words. It felt like the walls were crumbling. It felt like the light switch has just been, had just been put off. It felt like I had just gotten swallowed up in the darkness. It took me a thousand miles back into my, into my journey, into the progress I had made. It took me a thousand miles backward. And I was trying to speak, to express myself, to explain. Yes, I was trying to explain myself. I became a bit defensive about it. As I tried to speak, it was obvious, like I was choking on my tears because you know what, you guys, I just couldn't explain better. I couldn't, I wanted to explain, I wanted him to understand, I wanted him to see why I was doing what I was doing. But in the same vein, I found that, you know, I had almost been, it felt like I'd been kicked in the gut and I'd been forced back into my crawling place. So it was really a terrible feeling. And, you know, I never ever got over that. I really never got over it because I can actually say that, you know, looking back, I really never went back to Instagram to make those videos, upload those videos, regardless of how the reviews came in, regardless of how positive the feedbacks were. I just couldn't get myself to doing it because you guys, you know what? As much as it is important to talk about how you feel, I'm going to, I, I would always, my, my go-to suggestion is always speak to somebody about it. No matter how you feel, you just have to understand that. You guys, you can't, you're not just, you're not in need to alone. However it is you feel, whichever way you feel, honestly, it's valid. You just have to understand where you are per time. You have to always just do the little things that might actually improve your overall energy or vibe or mood. Whatever it is you need to do to just maintain a level of positivity, of, of, of sanity. And honestly, you guys, you just can't keep telling people, friends, families that are depressed that, oh, they got to snap out of it. You can't. Depression is not something you snap out of. I feel like, I hope really that if you, for, I really hope that if you know anybody that is depressed or you're sort of like exposed to depressed people or a community of depressed people, I feel like it is so important to be somewhat compassionate, really not somewhat, to be really compassionate. If you cannot be really compassionate or you cannot actually understand how they feel, it's best to like, you know, be mom, just hush, as opposed to, you know, just saying terrible, mean things to them. People have ways of dealing and coping with situations. They probably need to get through that phase before they actually get to the point where they understand and progress and move on from the present stage. But do not push people while they actually walk towards, towards recovery. Um, I'm going to say that for me, the positive affirmations, I never stopped. However, I stopped my affirmations, you know, um, I stopped my affirmation videos and clips on Instagram, but I would still say my affirmations every day. I would still say it out loud. It still helped me. But that is not to say that, oh, hey, Nancy, I'm like completely like 101%, like, you know, great. But I still confess the positive words. However, there are still low days and, you know, dark days. But I've come to understand that, you know what, it's fine. Some days can be like that. Other days can be really, really hypey. But my positive affirmations just opened up a lot of doors for, um, a lot of doors for, for, for me to look, look forward to. I speak those words and, and somehow it just sort of fills my life, my mind with purpose and ultimately just helps me hold hold down the fourth and it has been really helpful 
I really hope that so far you guys are enjoying the content. If you are, please give me a thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed. Turn on notifications just so that you're posted on whatever I, I upload any new videos. Again, if you have any questions, thoughts, ideas, and you probably want to share your affirmations, positive affirmations, you can always drop all of those in the comment section and I'll be right there to go back. I'll be right there to comment or respond to your comments and hopefully maybe do some videos about your questions or thoughts or suggestions or ideas. Um, I feel like it is really important to stress that while you're dealing with depression, it is important to just know where you are, the stage at which you're at per time with your journey. You know, you need to know where you are per time, embrace where you are per time. It is important, like just telling yourself that truth sort of ultimately positions you in a better place mentally. Yes, the truth can be really, really not nice, but it is important to just remember where you are per time and be patient with the process. Patience is key because most of the times you really might not see the desired outcome immediately, but just be Guys. patient. It is important to just show a little bit of compassion to people, especially those that you perceive or think or guess might be depressed. It is really important. And guys, it's fine if you really feel like, you know what? Sad, unhappy, empty, it's okay. Cry if you must. Scream at the top of your voice if you need to be listened to, if you need to be heard. Do what you need to do to be heard. If you can afford to actually get a professional to talk to, go on ahead, do that. Otherwise, find a trusted person that you can speak to. But by all means, speak to somebody about it. Do not stay mum about how you feel. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And love you all. My name is Nancy. I am great. I am enough. I am beautiful. I am bold. I am innovative. I am creative. Everything is working together for my good. Mwah. <laughs>